The Lions have no plans to trade star defensive tackle and Dominican Sue, says the team's GM Martin Mayhew. I'm Antonieta Collins with your latest ESPN headline. We are joined on the phone by ESPN Lions reporter Michael Rothstein. Michael, Martin Mayhew made it clear in a press conference that the team has no interest in trading Sue. So with that being said, why did the rumors start that he would be traded? Uh, simply because you look at everything that's kind of gone on with Sue since the, really, even since before this past season, he, he's entering his final year of his contract this year. He's got a $22.4 million cap number. He did not sign a contract extension before free agency started. He fired his agent. He took six weeks to hire a new agent. That agent happens to be Jimmy Sexton, one of the biggest power brokers in sports. So all of these things kind of maybe are leading to had some people believe that maybe Nadamakin Sue doesn't want to be in Detroit after this season. And if Nadamakin Sue would not want to be in Detroit, then why wouldn't the Lions look to move him? That said, Martin Mayhew and Tom Lawand a little bit earlier this offseason have both been pretty adamant in saying the same thing, which is Nadamakin Sue has expressed an interest in staying in Detroit. They obviously want him to stay and that they're negotiating with Sexton now. Martin Mayhew wouldn't say where those negotiations are, but I think as long as they feel like they're having productive talks, they aren't going to unload him because this is a team that is really built to win in the next few years, or at least that's what they're trying to do, and trading the Dominican Sioux would certainly hurt that, at least in the short term. Michael, you cover the team day in, day out. Do you expect Sue to be back with the Lions? I think that's a tough question to answer right now, and I think you're going to have a very clear picture of what is going to happen by the start of training camp or soon after. If the Dominican Sioux is still not signed any sort of deal by the start of training camp, then that could be an indication that he wants to at least ride the season out and see what happens either by testing the free agency waters or by just seeing how he plays this year and if he has another dominant year, really try to go make a massive amount of cash and maybe go to a bigger media market like a New York or a Chicago. Probably not Chicago because I don't think they'd be able to afford him, but somewhere where there is more marketing opportunities than a place like Detroit. That said, if, as long as, if, he, if negotiations progress, I still think at the end of the day he'll end up being a lion in the long term because – Usually when Tom Lawanda and Martin May you say they want to keep a guy and are pretty adamant about it, which they've been, they usually find some way to get that done. ESPN Lions reporter Michael Rothstein with the insight and for the latest NFL news. Keep it right here on ESPN.com. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN headline.